Hey everyone, this is Rush Lock, and I found an interesting article today in my news feed I thought I would share with you all. Uh, this is MMORPG.com's Joseph Bradford writing, and the article is titled, CCP Games' CEO says online gaming content, quote, should have p practical values in the real world, end quote. Taking a look at the article here, NFTs and other blockchain technologies are making their way furiously into gaming, so it's not a, sh a shock when a company's CEO comes out talking about them. CCP Games' Hilmar recently signaled his belief in the idea that NFTs and pay-to-earn models can and should be an option for those gamers who want them, stating in an interview with the Korea Economic Daily that gamers should be able to make retirement plans, quote-unquote, off the money earned through gameplay. Speaking with the Korea Economic Daily earlier this month, Hilmar talked about the pay-to-earn model, which is seeing more of a push from companies in the games industry lately as NFTs have taken over the discourse. CCP's EVE Online is already no stranger to NFTs as they were awarded to pilots during the recent Alliance Tournament 17 back in November as kill mails on the Tezos blockchain. Speaking with the outlet, Hilmar talked about gamers who are looking to earn money from the time investment put in game, especially talking about the fact that content, quote, should be, have practical values in the real world, end quote. Uh, also quoting Hilmar, gamers hope that the values created from the online games can be used in reality. The online gaming content should have practical values in the real world. The gaming industry should ha evolve to allow gamers to make retirement plans by using the money they earn from games, end quote. This concept is incredibly diverse in gaming circles as many players aren't all that keen on seeing NFTs and other potentially predatory and environmentally destructive business models encroach on gameplay, especially those who use games as a way to relax from a hard day of work. It's important to note, though, that while CCP Games has dabbled in NFTs already and is obviously looking towards them as like many uh, games industries leaders out there, Hilmar stops short of stating that they will be implemented in EVE, at least right away. The CCP Games CEO also acknowledges just how divisive going, uh, doing so can be and how it could complicate things between the two user bases of those in favor and those against. Hilmar is quoted, We have con conducted research related to NFT and blockchain as they are based on a decentralized system, which is similar to CCP Games' operation. However, it's a little too early for us to entirely introduce NFTs or pay to earn. So, just the, I mean, a lot of the, the reactionary, oh man, could you imagine... Like, on one hand, it's a great way to push against RMT. On the other hand, it opens up a whole new avenue of, of interactions with uh, CD markets. So uh, I've seen this mentioned more and more in other gaming and MMO circles. Uh, there's another game that I've already forgotten the name of that was bought out by another company. And then immediately it seemed like they shifted development toward what can they do for the pay-to-earn model. Uh, for those who are not familiar with it, pay-to-earn, basically the time uh, spent you, you time spent in-game for you uh, could directly or indirectly, lead to players earning real money from their gameplay. Um, this was several years ago, but even Diablo 3 launched with a you know in in-game real money auction house trying to stomp out RMT uh, for whatever reason. Blizzard didn't uh, wasn't able to maintain that system and, and later removed it. But here we are, you know, seven years later, and I'm wondering. I think eight years now, actually, wondering what uh, Eve Online and other MMOs can do with uh, blockchain technology and, and earning potential. Like, imagine nerds who are already upset about losing a spaceship that's, you know, digital pixels and digital currency. Uh, maybe, like, hyper uh, ratcheting up the whole idea of, you know, you, you spent Plex, real money to get Plex, you spent the Plex to get ships, and you lose that, you've lost money, you know, real money indirectly, but there's a couple degrees of separation where you don't realize it. Now imagine you're disrupting other nerd gameplay to prevent them from earning cash. And oh man, can you just imagine EVE Online with that kind of interaction? Uh, if you have more to share about pay to earn uh, models, if you've seen other games that are implementing them or looking into them, please feel free to share in the comments down below. I would love to read more of these articles and look forward to seeing what you guys have to provide. But post what you think about CCP potentially looking at NFT and blockchain technology to add to EVE Online, the pros, the cons, what you think about it, and uh, I'll see you in the comments down below.